Welcome back to an introduction to computational thinking. If you remember, there were four elements to computational thinking. These elements broke the problem into small pieces, found similarities, focused on the important, and wrote step-by-step -step instructions. Today, we're looking at decomposition, which is breaking the problem into small pieces. Imagine coming home from school. You're asked to make the dinner. Do you just go into the fridge and pick the first few things that you can find? Carrots, fish, ice creams? Then push it all into the oven. Make a nice dinner. Hmm, what's for dinner? Fish, carrot and ice cream stew. Yuck! Let's try again the computational thinking way. First, let's get rid of this lot. To break the problem down, we'll think about what should we eat. Do we want rice, pasta, pizza, something like that? Do we have what we need to make it? Have we got the ingredients? Do we have the right cooking equipment? Do we know how to do it? Have we done it before? Have we got a recipe book? Can we look online? And what cooking method will it need? Should we have it raw? Or is it microwaved in an oven or a saucepan? If we look at a salad, it would need a salad and a bowl. We've made it before and it would be raw. Now we need to think about applying this to coding. If you're working for a games company, all of these elements go to making up a computer game. So do you think they just push them all onto one coder and say, make a whole game? No. What they're going to do is take each individual task, break it down into small tasks, and give a task to a different person so they can all work together to bring the program together in the end. Decomposition, you break the problem into small pieces, it makes the task easier to manage, and people can share the tasks between them.